Hi, this is Luke from Spitfire's customer experience team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the user interface for the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. Let's talk about selecting a different preset. By default, you can see that I'm set to violin ones currently. To change this, simply click on another area of the orchestral layout screen in the middle here. This setup is arranged as we recorded it, meaning that the players are recorded in situ, the positions that they were on the soundstage. For example, you can see that the trumpets were recorded slightly to the right here, and on the opposite side of the stage, the horns. This means that you'll hear the sound slightly towards that side. This gives you a true representation of these instruments in that space. You can also change presets by clicking the top bar here. From here, you can preview sounds by pressing the play buttons to the left, as well as star items to have them to appear in a separate view here. Once you've selected something, either double click or click once and then click load towards the bottom here. As you can see, I've now moved over to the piccolo. Next, let's take a look at the bottom left of the interface. Here we have three main controllers. It's good to know what each of these are doing. The first controller here is expression. This will essentially adjust the level of the technique, as explained in the bottom left there. To the right of this is dynamics. This is the most important fader on the interface, as it will crossfade between different dynamic layers, from very soft to the louder layers. To the right of this is reverb. Simply click and dial in more to your taste. Moving over to the right side of the interface, this is where our techniques are available. So depending on the preset that you're using, there will be different techniques. Currently, I'm on the piccolo and the long technique. This is essentially a sustain. To the right of this is staccatissimo. We can change this technique by moving over and clicking it. As well as this, you can use something called key switches to change techniques. Currently, these are at the very bottom of the keyboard, which we cannot see. So we'll need to change the range of the keyboard by selecting this. You can see now that I have two keys at the very bottom of my keyboard, which will switch between these techniques. You can change the location of the key switches by clicking up here. Simply click this button and drag to the right, and the key switches will move up the keyboard. Some presets will have more techniques than others. For example, let's move over to the violin ones. You'll see now that I have four key switches down at the bottom here and four techniques. Towards the right of the screen, we have this icon here, which will allow you to collapse the interface. You can also find some additional settings at the top here. However, for these, it's worth checking out the user manual. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support.